and the pride of the country is an alumnus of the University of Wisconsin, a leading scientist and successful entrepreneur in the field of the most important lifesaver in modern times, vaccines, and we know this more than ever now. A true scientist driven by a firm conviction that today's neglected diseases become tomorrow's pandemic. Bharat Biotech has to date delivered over 10 billion vaccine doses to the poorest and most underprivileged population. 123 developing countries through UNICEF and GAVI. With 433 patents filed. 433 patents filed. His latest efforts involve the development of Covaxin, proved throughout the world's second largest efficacy trial. It is India's first and the world's fourth SARS coronavirus 2 vaccine after the US and the UK that not only saved countless lives, but also demonstrated India's indigenous vaccine development capabilities that is priced as low as under dollar three per dose. For his incomparable contributions to the society and the industry and the country, the Republic of India in 2022 conferred him with the Padma Bhushan. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our privilege and honor to have him attend and be part of the Raymond CEO Forum Awards night. May I request Dr. Krishna Ella to please come up and receive our humble award towards incredible contribution in the field of biotechnology. <laughs> and I, I want to use this word mission impossible once thought about when the pandemic started. And Dr. Krishna Allah has given us the solution. May I now humbly request His Excellency, Sri Arif Mohammad Khan Saab, to please come up on stage and hand over the award. humbled um, excellency and um, five generations uh, singhania family of legend of the uh, entrepreneurship of this country they are the fathers of the of industries of this world in this country that we need to acknowledge that my vaccine was launched by first vaccine was launched by our dr abdul kalam after he launched he became a president <laughs> and i hope you got the message now I don't want to say I got the award from the His Excellency. What will be the next? I do not know, but <laughs> so that is clear. But uh, so the, I will we really pray for that. We really pray for that. But I think you know um, I'm really humble, and I mean I'm an outsider. I mean I'm seeing the CEO Forum is a very personally attached to everyone here and very affectionate. I could see that you know people talking business or talking with the heart or anything. I think you are talking with the heart, not from here. <laughs> not from here. And, and I think I, I want to really is honored, humble in front of all the legends and CEOs, everybody in front of them to receive. And I think, you know, uh, the, the world is giving a signal to the world that uh, you know, chicken gunya came, pandemic flu came, Ebola came, and uh, Nipah came in Kerala, all giving us signals. And the signals we were neglected. In 2019, December, 5th, 5th December in Bangalore, in a, the hotel, Carnegie Mellon organized a meeting on pandemic. I said it will come and in the public forum. And it was recorded in the YouTube, it is there, on 5th December. It will come. If it comes, Bangalore will be empty. And all IT people were sitting in the hall, they didn't even take it seriously. And exactly after two months, you know what happened. And I think, uh, I think you know, I, one thing I'm really grateful, Honorable Prime Minister took the first vaccine of ours. The reason, I'm not talking politically on this, I'm not talking politically, I'm just talking ahead of the country, uh, taking the Indian vaccine is acknowledging the Indian science. Absolutely. That's a privilege, that's a honor, that's a privilege. And I think uh, really grateful and I'm, I'm really humble and my friend Ganesh, and I, I can tell you honestly, 
He is a legend in this country. Honestly, I am telling you. Many founders. We, we found the companies. We found the companies. We can't operate. We can't make it marketing genius. And I think uh, Ganesh is a, probably the number one. He is the only market genius and uh, company builder in this country. But I, I'm, but I think uh, Deepak Rao, I think you built a wonderful forum. I am telling honestly. I see their good heart. And I will see after a drink, I will see the yeah. more heart of them. <laughs> Thank you, Sajjan. Sir, before you leave, we just had a question for you. Is the COVID pandemic over? And when do you anticipate the next pandemic? It has gone so deep, it will not gone, but it will not be serious. It will not be serious. It has not gone. It is there with us. But it will not be uh, serious anymore because we have a medicine, we have a vaccine, we have a therapeutic, we have a hospitalizations are improved. Everything infrastructure is built up and I think we can handle it. But Will the what next will come is a dangerous. Sir, you know you what? We don't want to take any of these sci-fi films, you know, very lightly anymore. You never know. Yeah. Uh, we never knew All of this. them when they come earlier, we used to laugh at them, and I feel, oh my God, if this is possible, then. No, yes, you said Paul Gunny, chicken gunia. It's a yeah. very simple, and we were the first one to file a global patent, both chicken gunia and Zika, in the yes. world. Even U.S. government was asking me, how did I predict the Zika before even Brazil incident? So, I was feeling that, I was sensing that it will intuitive. So, intuitively feel that what can come because on the virology. I am basically major in virology. So, sort of thinking how the mosquito moves, how the virus moves and how people move and all that we can start sort of predicting things. And hypothesize, not predict but hypothesize. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.